Good day everyone, I'm going to show you how to display your FPS in the top corner here. Uh, it's really simple, so let's jump right into it. So I'm just going to open a new project, so you can do that in any kind of game. So I'm using the uh, third person template, but you can do that with any template that you want. So the first thing that we have to do is to create that widget. So I'm going to right click on the content browser, select user interface and create a widget blueprint. I'm going to name that widget blueprint widget FPS and I'm going to open it. I'm going to go here in the search library. I'm going to do a canvas panel. I'm going to search for canvas panel. I'm going to drag that to the widget FPS. So it's going to create that rectangle here that we see at the screen. We need a text, so we're going to add a text. I'm going to drag that to the canvas panel. Take that text. We're going to move it to the corner here. We're going to anchor that to the right corner so it's not going to move. Here in the content text, we have bind. We're going to click on this and create a binding going to bring us to this page here that the function that we just asked the game to create so I'm just going to rename that get FPS like so and from there we're just going to add a variable I'm going to call that FPS and I'm going to change the type to integer going to take FPS, I'm going to drag it to the screen here and I'm going to do get FPS. From the return value here, I'm just going to search for format text. And here in that box, I'm just going to write FPS dot open the bracket here, type FPS underscore input and close the bracket. Click enter. It's gonna have that pin. We're gonna take the FPS, connect that to the pin here. And that's the only thing that we have to do in that function. We're gonna compile and save that function. Now we're gonna move to the event graph. We're not gonna use those two here. We're just gonna use the event tech. So the event tick we're going to put here, we're going to drag from that pin, we're going to do a delay, and I'm going to change the time to 0 0.05. You can put the time that you want. Uh, let's just let it do the normal time. Just make that very easy. So we're going to take that FPS here, we're going to move it, we're going to do set, and I'm going to connect that together like this. Here now we're going to create a divide node and we're going to plug the delta time to the bottom and we're going to click and change that for 1. From that we're going to search for truncate. We're going to take this one and we're going to connect that to the return value of the get FPS that is right here, I mean the set FPS. We're going to compile that information and save. Now we're going to move back to uh, the main project here. So now we have to tell the game that we want to create that widget here to display that on this player screen. So to do so, we're going to ask the game to do that on the level blueprint. So here on the top, we're going to click and select open level blueprint going to bring us to this page. Here this is the event begin play. So we need to create the widget like so. I'm going to select the class and I'm going to select the widget we created. So widget FPS. We're going to drag from that and we're going to add that information to the viewport like so and the return value to the target. We're going to compile and save and now it should work for us. So if we click play, 
which shall be displayed right here in the top corner really easy so I'm just gonna do a little recap so we created a widget blueprint in the widget blueprint we added the canvas panel on the canvas panel we added a text that we anchor to the top right corner in the text here we created a binding which you can find here on the graph page and we renamed that to get FPS we created that variable here that is an integer we got the variable here and we connect, we connected this to a format text put that information here so FPS and open the bracket FPS input close bracket and we connected that to the return value and we moved to the event graph and we used event tech to create that little function here not function but that little logic that tell the game that every 0.2 seconds you're gonna have to call this which is the number that is displayed in the top corner when we play so our FPS so we open the level uh, blueprint of them I mean we open the level blueprints so or the map your level from the even begin play we created the widget and we added that to your view the viewport so hopefully everything worked for you well and uh, I wish you best luck on your project and see you for the next one